Hi, in this movie I want to show you how to set up VAT in Tally ERP9. VAT stands for Value Added Tax, which is a state-wise tax mechanism in which multi-point destination system follows. Means tax is being levied on value addition at each stage of transactions like manufacturer, wholesale, retail, etc. With an example, I will explain it. A retailer purchases product for Rs. 1000 plus tax and he sells it for Rs. 1100 plus tax. Then tax is being levied on Rs. 100. Rs. 1100 is the sale value and Rs. 1000 is the purchase value. As the retailer added Rs. 100 for his profit, tax is being levied on Rs. 100 which is the value added amount suppose the tax value is four percentage then he has to pay rupees four to the government hope you got a brief idea now let's go to tally tally has made some major changes in vat configuration vat setup has become state specific in order to comply statewide statutory requirements another major changes are on defining tax rate there are three tax rate setup Defining tax rate at company level. If you set this up, you must have a single tax rate for all products. And uh, the second one is defining tax rate at group level. In this setup, you can have multiple tax for multiple products. And the third one is defining tax rate at ledger or stock item level. Here also, you can have multiple products for multiple tax rate and uh, which is a traditional level we were following in this tutorial also we are going to learn the third method defining tax rate at ledger or stock item level the first stage is you have to make ensure that you have selected right state in the company creation screen that is very important let's create a company first hope you all know how to create a company in tally so enter company name address country India state Karnataka we are going to follow Karnataka statute pin code telephone number mobile number email website press enter and save we have created a company now now the second stage is enabling VAT in tally ERP 9 to do that go to company features press F11 button now on the third option statutory taxation you have to make this enable value added tax set this yes and here also set this yes Karnataka TIN number a valid TIN number in the state sale tax number is there enter that also keep the rest no press enter and save now the third stage is master creation let's create a stock item here inventory info stock item create let's create a computer enter primary and unit I have not created so number that applicable set alter wire details yes you can set the tax rate for the product computer here and tax type become taxable automatically if you put a zero here tax type will become exempt if you put four then it will become taxable press enter and save so the stock item created now let's create the party ledger Let's create a supplier's ledger. Uh, computer solution. Let's name it Computer Solution. Sentry Creditor is the supplier. And default credit period. Check food. <laughs> Set alter VAT details. Keep it now. <laughs> Now, let's create a customer ledger. 
that is computer point they are our customer and under sundry debtors so customer ledger we have created now let's create purchase ledger purchase at the rate four percentage for tax rate four percentage alone we are creating a ledger and under purchase account inventory values are types of ledger not applicable is VAT CST applicable? Applicable. Nature of transaction and purchase taxable. Tax rate is 4. Now sales. Sales at rate 4 percentage. Under sales account. Sales taxable. Four percentage is the. Now let's create a VAT ledger. A common VAT ledger. Under duties and tax. VAT. Now let's do the transaction. Suppose our company purchase. 10 numbers computer at the rate 25,000 rupees per plus tax. Let's enter that transaction here. See yes. Put a number, invoice number. Select the date. 1st April 2015. Party name is computer solution is the supplier. Purchase ledger and computer is the product and uh, 10 numbers at rate 25,000 VAT select VAT provide VAT detail S yes, in that screen you enter each gum number from place to place document type transporter name bill of lading number date and enter and save so purchase transaction completed now sales transaction to sales voucher f8 enter the transaction we are selling the 10 numbers computer to computer point at the rate 27,000 per piece so select sales ledger sales computer and time number and we are selling it for rupees 27 2000 added on the cost now select provide VAT details is come number from place category of transaction Below flooding number or LR number date 1st April 2015. So now we have ended purchase transaction and sales tax transaction. And now let's see the VAT report from the gateway of tally. Go to display statutory report VAT VAT form 100. In this report, you can see total number of transactions for a period from 1st April to 30th April for the first month for accessible values to lakh seventy thousand for 10 computer and tax amount is 10,800 and local purchase is 2 lakh 50 and tax paid on purchase equal to 10,000 so tax payable is rupees 
800 10,000 800 minus 10,000 so we have to pay that amount make that payment on 1st May 1st May 2015 that and 800 so that payment have completed display account with ledger VAT you can see the VAT ledger is is zero now that's all for now thanks for watching bye